Hello everybody, we are back here on Way of the Hunter and today we are going to do something different than what we've done here on the channel. Well, I mean, to start with, we're going to be hunting in a storm, but we are also going to be using the 338 Lapua Magnum on some black bear. Which should be quite a bit of fun, as we've not done any black bear hunting on the channel and we've not used the 338 too often either. So I figured this would be a cool thing to go do and maybe we'll get lucky and find ourselves some good bears as right now I have not found anything better than a three star. So hopefully we can do that and my gosh this storm is going absolutely insane. You know this is going to be a very interesting day. Well after about 15 minutes of trekking to this lake we're finally here and we've got a couple black bear off in the distance. I think that we will just try to do a long shot. I don't really care if we get uh, the perfect male or female, I guess, out of this group. It, you know, it is what it is. I kind of just want to try some long range shooting on these black bear with the 338 since this rifle is designed for longer ranges. And uh, well, 400 meters is definitely a good start. And if we get the opportunity, we might go a little bit further back. And uh, to be honest, we could do that right here. And I think I just might. So let's back up and Try to get on the top of this hill over here to maybe add a extra 100 meters onto there. Well, here goes nothing. This is uh, definitely going to be a difficult shot, though uh, I think we can probably make it. It really does help that they've got that uh, dot to kind of help you compensate for distance and also the wind. So let's try this. That looked like a good shot. That, that looked like it was a good hit. Yeah, I mean, that bear's not really going far. In fact, it's moving very slowly, and, you know, we might have actually not even spooked off the other one. We might get a chance to take down bear number two as well. Well, unfortunately, I have no idea where that other bear went. However, there is some wolves down here, so we might take a shot at one of those if I can uh, get my rifle to stay at the proper distance and... Or, uh, not proper distance, but the proper slope, because... I'm kind of in a spot where I can't look down anymore. Actually, if we move forward a little bit, uh, it seems like maybe there's some elk here too. Uh, let's check these elk out real quickly before we make a decision. You know, that elk right there. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so that's a two-star mature. This guy right here is a one-star mature, so I think we're going to take him down if we can. It looks like they should be stopping very, very shortly. And in fact, let's just go ahead and... I think this is him. You know, I, I think that missed. Somehow, I think that shot missed. It looked like it went under him, though I could have swore we put the dot right where it needed to be. I guess that was just an unfortunate miss. But since we missed it, let's get this wolf right here. And just like that, we got a wolf down. So that went much smoother than the shot on the elk. And now all of the elk are scattering. Kind of in the same direction that all of those wolves are. But after all this, I don't see that second bear still. So that's kind of interesting, but... I suppose if we can't find it, it is what it is. There's really nothing we can do there. And, you know, these elk might actually slow down enough to where we can take one. And, in fact, it looks like we definitely will get to take one. I can't tell what they are from this distance, so... It's going to be a gamble, but none of them look to be super impressive, so I don't think it's going to matter too much which one we take. Let's just find one that goes broadside and try to get a shot into it. This is probably the one to go for. Yeah, that definitely was a good hit, so he's also one of the smaller ones. Which most likely means his genetics weren't insane, even if it is a young. Well, we've got another wolf there. That one is a one star, and honestly, at this point... We might as well just make this hunt a bear and wolf hunt. As it seems like we're finding a lot of both of those. So here is both of our gray wolves. Let's see if this is a male or a female. It was actually a male and it was a two star adult. Oh gosh, 97% genetics. So that's the problem with long range shooting. You never know when you can make a mistake like this. And this probably would have been a good one to keep alive, but you know... For the sake of getting some cool long-range kills, I think it's probably worth it. It's not like we can't find more five-star uh, potential genetics animals in the future. This guy right here was uh, not nearly as nice as it was 78% on the genetics, but another decent hit on it with the 338. And honestly, this thing is insane. 
The 338 is such an OP rifle in the game and takes down pretty much everything in one hit regardless of uh, what size the animal is, which is great. Definitely one of those rifles where if you just don't want to have to worry about tracking anything, then definitely use this. 86%, you know, that's kind of crazy. This was a one-star adult and it was still 86% on the genetics. This guy must have been very young. This must have been barely in that adult range. You know, this video is very quickly becoming one of those, uh, if you care about your herd's genetics, don't do what Scarecrow's doing type of videos. And, well, this is no different as we did shoot a young female. So, yeah, we're off to a great start today taking out good genetics animals and a female bear. Doing, doing great. We once again have a couple bears, this time at a completely different lake. The lake that we just ended up at is over here. Now, this has actually been a pretty good location for me. We ended up getting a five-star elk here during early access, and uh, ever since then, there's been tons of elk and tons of bear here. And it's just overall a great place to go if you want to find a lot of different animals. I believe there's even some wolves in the area, and occasionally some deer, if I'm not mistaken. So it's just a great place to go if you want to find a lot of animals. Unfortunately, these bears are leaving, so we might have to take a long-range walking shot on this one right here, which is definitely not ideal, and I don't know how comfortable I am with making a shot like that. But, uh, considering the other one is already gone, I don't want that to happen with this guy, too. And, in fact, I don't even see the other one, so yeah, we're gonna have to do this. I don't know if that was good or bad. One more shot just to be sure, and the second one definitely got it. That second shot was so much better than the first one, so I think it should go down, which is uh, what we were hoping for there. The first shot, I don't know what happened. I think it might have just moved a little bit slower than I thought it was, and we ended up hitting up front, which is unfortunate, but at least we made up for it with that second shot. So we do have a bit of a problem here. This second hit also says small amount of blood. Now, I'm not sure if maybe that's just because we had hit it a second time right here, but that looked like a lot more blood than just a small amount. Okay, now it says medium, but it still says clear. So I don't know where we possibly hit it or how quickly it's going to die, but... Uh, that's definitely a first for me. I've never seen medium bleed rate with clear. I'm going to assume it's because we hit it twice with a 338, which is a little bit on the large side for the uh, caliber. So that could be the reasoning, but it's a first for me. Well, we ended up finding our bear finally. Now to discover whether or not it's a male or a female. This one actually was a male. It's a one star young 90% genetics. Man, we are just shooting all of the good genetics animals right now. That's unfortunate, but I mean, that's part of uh, shooting them from long range. It is what it is. You know, I do this content for you guys, and if we end up messing up a couple of our uh, animals or our, our population's genetics in the process, then, you know, it is what it is. At least we had some fun doing it, and I have had quite a bit of fun using the 338 from mid to long range. It has been quite enjoyable. Well, we've got a female black bear right now. This one has been calling for a while, and... You know, normally I try to stay away from shooting females. Because it can actually decrease the amount of animals you have on your reserve, but uh, for the sake of the video, we're going to do it anyway. And uh, that seemed to be a pretty solid hit. Definitely one of the easier shots we've had to make. Hopefully I didn't hit the tree. Medium amount of blood. So we actually did get a pretty good hit on this one. You know, that's the first shot in a while where we ended up getting it good on the first hit. Love to see it. And there we go, we have found our female black bear, let's check to see how good the hit was, it was double lung. And honestly, from that angle, uh, we barely scathed the right lung, or I guess did half the damage we did to the first one. Definitely uh, lost a bit of energy by the time it got to that second lung, and in fact we might have just grazed the top of it. Yeah, that actually does seem to be the case, so... Maybe we had aimed a little bit lower, it would have hit a bit more solid, but I mean, regardless, it's our first... I believe our first one hit kill, or maybe it's the second, but regardless, this is probably the best shot we've made today. Well, I think it's about time we take what is most likely going to be the most insane shot of the day. We're going to do a 700 meter shot, uh, provided we can get it to angle us downward, because I definitely have to be prone for this, or else it's not going to work out in the way that I like it, but 
I just cannot get it to prone me in the right direction. It's uh, been kind of difficult to get it to cooperate at times, but I think this might be it right here. Oh yeah, we can definitely do this. We've got a bear right there. If we can make this shot, this is going to be incredible. Let's just uh, bump this up to about 600. That's going to be tough. That is going to be very tough, but I think we can do it provided we take our time and make sure that the shot's going to be good. Well, I don't see him giving us much better of a shot, so let's just try this. Man, it's going to be tough even with the uh, the dot from the hunter sense. It's still going to be difficult to make this as it covers the entire bear. Maybe in this situation, we just remember where that dot is, which is kind of right on the line, and let's just take it away. That looked like a good hit, actually. It was! Oh my gosh, that was such an insane shot! You know, that might have been one of the better long-range hits that we've made on anything. And the 338 is not even the most accurate rifle at long range. As you can see, it's got a relatively large area that the bullet could impact, and rifles like the 308 are quite a bit more accurate, even with wind. So, this was going to be easily the hardest shot we've ever made, and we somehow connected exactly how we needed to. Wow, that bear really did not move far. After we took that shot, it only moved about maybe 30 meters, which is kind of insane. That must have been such a good hit. Probably the best hit of the day, and that was by far the longest, most difficult shot of the day as well. And was it a male? It was. That was a male bear. It is just a one-star adult, but honestly, that's kind of a good one to take out as it was 67% on the genetics. And we got the thing from 678 meters, almost a 700 meter shot. That is awesome. That is such an awesome shot to be able to make, and I mean, that 338 hit exactly where we needed it to at that range, and... I'm honestly kind of surprised. That was some crazy wind and just the 338 not being the most accurate rifle at 700 meters, I wasn't expecting it to hit where we were aiming. I thought for sure it would veer off a tiny bit to the left or right, but it did end up hitting exactly where we wanted it to. And I guess that's how you get a 5 star hunt rating on a black bear, just take an insanely long shot so you don't have to worry about that uh, energy being too high, as this was right about where we needed it. That's kind of crazy. It hit with... Literally the exact energy that was needed to get five uh, stars. That's crazy. So as we move over to some other spots that have black bear, I've been checking out the mountain goats and the elk in the area, and we do actually have two four-star mountain goats. There's one in a herd over here, and then we've got a four-star mountain goat in this herd in front of us. We're definitely going to let them grow in hopes that we can get ourselves another five-star as we did end up getting a 5 star one on stream that will most likely be in a video within the next few days. But uh, this one is primarily focused on the black bear, so we're mainly looking for them. But I thought it was kind of cool that we managed to find a couple level 4, or not level 4, 4 star mountain goats on the way over here. And uh, it's going to be cool to watch them grow. Hopefully we can get some 5 stars out of them. There it is, that's the 4 star right there. We're definitely going to keep an eye on him, he could become a giant at some point. I've noticed we do actually have quite a few four-star mountain goats on our map. I believe there's a total of four of them, so we're bound to get one of them to grow to a five-star at some point, and maybe even two, that way we can complete our um, mount of mountain goats, because the one that I decided to go with has three of them up on one of those elevated mounts, and that would be really cool to complete. So if we can maybe complete that while we're hunting bears, that would be incredible. Well, I finally see a bear, and that's a three-star mature. That'll definitely be the best bear we've ever took down. So if we can just get a better angle on it, we'll definitely go for a shot. Well, this is definitely going to be our opportunity right here. Let's stand up so we don't uh, hit the tree in front of us, or the, I guess, fallen tree in front of us. And let's just drop one in there real quickly. Man, there's nothing more satisfying. Then sinking a shot into a bear at close range with a 338, that massive blood spatter is just insane to see. Oh, there is another bear over there. Let's uh, real quickly try to figure out what it is. That is... Oh, that's actually our three-star mature. Never mind, he actually just ran all the way over there. You know, I could have swore that he died right here, but I guess he was just bedded down. Well, there he is, that is our three-star mature black bear, and 
Though there's a decent chance this could be... Well, actually I'm just wrong. I was gonna say there's a decent chance that it could be some good genetics, but it's not good enough to where it would have made five stars, so this one actually wasn't too bad to take down. Uh, the main ones that I try to save are the 80 plus, uh, 80 percent plus genetics because those tend to be the ones that can make five star. Though maybe in the future I should try to keep everything that's above 50, it's really hard to say. But for the sake of making a video like this, we kind of gotta just take whatever bears we see, as there's not a lot of them on the map to be honest. Bears are some of the harder things to hunt in Way of the Hunter. Makes me wonder how difficult it's gonna be to hunt the brown bear when those are finally released. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this was quite a bit of fun. I did enjoy getting out with one of the larger rifles, being the 338, and uh, with it being the largest gun in the game, it was a lot of fun to take down some of these animals at long range and have it still perform very well. We managed to make some pretty awesome shots on some of these black bear and even a couple, couple other animals in the process, so that was pretty amazing to be able to do that. But anyway guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a comment down below if you did and let me know what we should do next on Way of the Hunter as I would like to take the 338 out for some other species and I'd also like to try some more long range hunting for different species in the game, so let me know in the comments which species and what gun we should use and if we should maybe try to do some long range or if we should try to do some close range iron sights, there's a lot of different possibilities that we could try to attempt and I'd love to see what you guys want to see. But anyway, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also be sure to leave a comment down below like I was saying and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!